Welcome to today's show. Today is Monday, and it is Memorial Day. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Alexandria. This is Michael, and today we're making hot sauce. Welcome to the full measure. Welcome to The Full Measure. If you haven't seen our show before, we like to make a dish in two different ways. The first way we make it is a very simple way, and we try to make it a little bit better with not a lot of effort, and we call that the half measure. In the second way we make it, we go all out. It's usually more complicated and more involved, and we call that the full measure. At the end of the show, we let you know if the full measure was worth all the time and the effort. Like you said in the intro, today we are making hot sauce, something that I've made quite a few times. Oh, I have some good pictures of you with all your hot sauce. Oh yeah, you do. Oh man. The half measure recipe today is gonna to be a little different. We're just gonna try some hot sauces that we really like. Making hot sauce at home is actually simple enough. It's hard to even call it a full measure recipe because just blend a bunch of stuff together and put it in a bottle. The full measure recipe we're using today is actually a hot sauce recipe that I've been working on for quite a while. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, yeah, because so. you gave, you did a hot sauce for a Christmas gift. Insert then. picture of Michael making so many hot sauces. <laughs> There is no real half measure today, but we did get a whole bunch of great hot sauces. With shows like Hot Ones becoming so popular, it's pretty clear that there's a huge demand for a variety of hot sauces. These are some that we like to have at the home, and a few new ones we're gonna try out. We will also be making this, our full measure hot sauce. This is my own recipe that I've been tweaking over the last three years. It's actually based on a few different sauces that I really love, including one from Hot Ones, their original Chipotle hot sauce. I guess I'll be breaking into this my own coveted recipe box. I've got some great recipes that I've worked on in this box, and I'm pretty proud of what's on these cards. Over the last couple of years, my friends and family have particularly become fans of this specific hot sauce. The basics of the sauce are very similar to how most hot sauces are made. We've got vinegar, salt, some sweet and hot peppers, but here's where mine becomes a bit more unique. I've got pineapple, ginger, and carrots. And then the main source of fire in this sauce, habaneros. This sauce has some kick, but it's delicious and it doesn't leave you in any pain. We start by breaking down our pineapple. Cut off the top and the bottom, and then run your knife down the sides to peel the outside off. Then core your pineapple. I've since learned the way that I core mine is a little unsafe, so I left it out of this video. There are some great YouTube videos that'll show you how to core a pineapple if you've never done it. Everything we prep today will be chopped into a rough cut, and we will portion everything by weight on the kitchen scale. We'll need 300 grams of this pineapple. The rest we can save for a snack. Next, we break down our bell peppers. I typically use one red and one yellow. This mostly affects the final color. 275 grams of the bells. Crush and peel about four cloves of garlic. We need 35 grams. I don't worry about peeling the ginger. I just rough chop it. 35 grams of this as well. Peel and rough chop your carrots. We'll need 75 grams of these. Pop open your can of chipotle peppers and add about 112 grams, including some of the adobo from the can. Everything from here on out is spicy, and I always try to use gloves when chopping hot peppers. I've made too many mistakes touching my eyes and my face in the past. I have learned my lesson. We need 50 grams of jalapeno and 45 grams of habaneros. I do remove the seeds and the white membranes from the habaneros only. I like my hot sauce to have kick, but not to be a novelty, pain-inducing condiment. If you want more heat, add more peppers, but still remove the seeds in the membrane. That stuff can get really hot really fast. Lastly, we add eight grams of kosher salt and eight grams of sugar. The pineapple brings a lot of sweetness, but we need a little bit more to balance the heat in this sauce. Time to bust out the big guns. This sauce needs to be blended on a high speed to make it the proper consistency. If you don't have a high-powered blender, that's totally cool. This still makes a great sauce. It just may not have the completely smooth consistency you'd like. Everything goes into the pool, along with two cups of white vinegar. And blend the shit out of this for about three minutes. The last step I usually do is to run everything through a fine mesh sieve. This is optional, but it's really good at getting out that pulp that would make the sauce, well, pulpy. Before you finish, make sure to taste for seasoning. Hot sauce should taste somewhat salty. That's it. You've got your sauce. You can store this in containers in your fridge. There's enough salt and vinegar in it to make it last for a few months, or you can preserve it and can it. But what I like to do is get these little dasher bottles on Amazon. It adds a nice finishing touch and it makes it very easy to give them away as gifts. They even come with a little cap that you'd need to pour a hot sauce that's this thin. Pop that on and then the cap, and you've got yourself a fine looking homemade hot sauce. You could even print a label and make it an actual full measure. Are we straight up just gonna taste hot sauce? Yes, but actually no, but we could put them on wings. Let's cook these real quick. This is the hot sauce episode, but I promise we will do a wing episode. 
Let's put a pin in cooking these for now. To make these hot sauces into a coating for the wings, we add a little melted butter to each of these bowls. We have eight hot sauces, including our full measure sauce, and a little sauce into the bowl as well. There's at least twice as much sauce as there is butter in each of these bowls, the basic ratio for buffalo wings. Each of these bowls is getting two wings, one for each of us to taste. Toss the wings in the sauce to coat, and you're done. On this board, we have 16 wings and eight different hot sauces. This buffalo buffet is something me and my friends like to do from time to time, and we call it having a wing dinger. Alexander and I both really like hot sauces, and this is probably the coolest expression of having this many sauces in one house. The wings are actually cooked really well too. I'm really excited to do a wing episode for you in the near future. I do want to clarify that this sauce is really good on a lot of different foods. It does have a little bit of pineapple flavor, so keep that in mind. Two of my favorite applications are pizza and hummus. But let's give this wing dinger a go and see how these sauces stack up. Ha cha cha cha. Chat. Okay, we've got some water, we've got some wings. The wings taste good. <laughs> the wings really good. Yeah. Um, I don't like Tabasco, so pass. Tink. You know, I don't like Louisiana hot sauce on some other dishes, but that's really good with wings. Yeah, it's not, it's not too spicy. I kind of have a limit of spice that I can really take. Yeah. Um, I don't like to be in pain when I'm eating food, so. Yeah. That's a nice heat. Um, let's do the Cholula. I know we both like Cholula. Oh yeah. These are good wings. Yeah. I feel like grocery stores, like hot sauce, Cholula every time. Works on eggs, works on wings. Yeah. I got on pizza. Um, let's try the tapatio. Tapatio is like the heat that is like the perfect amount of heat for me when I want heat. It's not too hot. It's hot, hotter than Cholula, but it just doesn't have that much flavor to me. It's not one I typically go for. Right. Just two Franks, because these are all ones that we've had, and I wanted to end on the ones that we've maybe never had. Franks is a business. Yeah. That's so good. Eating a lot of these back to back, like none of them are too hot. But there also isn't anything that it's like, ooh. That's really standing out. To me, I think my favorite so far has been the Cholula still. I really do like the Franks. I like um, the Franks because I like the vinegar. Of the ones we haven't tried on wings, um, we have this kimchi hot sauce that I just got at the Asian market. I'm really interested to try this because it definitely, I tasted it just straight out of the bottle and it definitely has that like fermented That's flavor. A good, a good chunky wing. Oh yeah. Ooh, there's some heat on that one. Yeah, I had it just straight from the bottle <laughs> earlier just to test it and it was a lot. Having it on that, and I'm like, oh, this is more manageable. That's definitely the most notable heat so far, though. It's tasty, it has that like fermented flavor. Yeah. And I think the thing that I'm really noticing by trying all these back to back is like, what a cool variety of flavor you can get, like just by going to the store. The last of the store-bought, this is the Hot Ones, Los Calientes. It smells good. Tink. That's nice. Oh yeah. It's yeah. sweet. I like that. It's very sweet. Yeah. The slow heat on it. It's not the, the kimchi was like right out of the gate, hot. hot. So we've done this episode completely different than we normally do. Normally we have half measure version, but with hot sauce, like hot sauce in general is not a full measure effort necessarily. Right. But making some on your own at home is like, that's a pretty cool thing to have like your own house brand of hot sauce. And like you can, you know, mix it up and do stuff. You can do stuff. Yeah. Let's try the full measure guy. Oh, it smells good. Mm. That's real good. I think these two are my two favorite. The Calientes and the full measure? Yeah. Ooh. Gets you afterwards. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's a good heat. Yeah. It's not like too much. Like a flavor blossom in your mouth. I can taste something sweet, mm -hmm. which like I know the pineapple's in there, so I'm assuming it's that. There's ginger in there. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. It's like a, a kick, but it's like in the back of my yeah. Taste buds. The first bite is really good, but then it also like, you get all of these, and it's not too spicy. It's spicy though. It's spicy, but it's not like. <sighs> no. I mean, my lips are a little. It's spicy, but it's not overly assertive. I like the flavors of these two the most. Mm -hmm. And I think that this one is the most, like the one that I would choose. This feel, Frank's is the classic like buffalo wing. Yeah. Like when you go to a restaurant and you think of like a buffalo wing, that's it. I really like the kimchi. Um, Cause it has that fermented flavor to it. It also, I think the kimchi was easily the hottest and it's just fun. And I think, I don't think we should rate anything this week because no. like, there's nothing to compare it to, 
But I would say that making hot sauce at home is a ton of fun. And I would say from, this is probably the third, second or third year that I've been making this particular sauce. What's really fun about it is that you get to like evolve it and tweak it and- Try different things in it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, really, that's I a lot of fun. It. So there is no chart of worth in this today. I mean- It's hot, all worth it. Yeah, hot sauce is great. Except Tabasco. But thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you can check out some of our other videos as well. We are on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and we're on Reddit and LinkedIn. We're not on LinkedIn. Should we be? No. <laughs> you can check us out on all of those networks. If you cook any of the food that we've made or if we've just inspired you to get in the kitchen, uh, tag us and we can take a look. We absolutely love seeing people cook the food that we're making and that's just like such a cool aspect to what we're doing. My lips are burning. We will probably be going down to one episode a week for just a little while. Um, I've actually had some work pick up, which is really, really good, but the show is something we want to continue. So for now, it'll probably be either just Mondays or Fridays, but we will continue to put episodes out. So look for those. If you could give us a thumbs up down below and click the subscribe button. When we get to a thousand, we're gonna do a ramen episode. And I think we both really wanna make ramen. So. Come on, I wanna eat it. Thank you again for watching this video and hopefully some of our other videos as well. Yeah. See you on the next one. Bye. Check one, two. Check, check one, two. two. Check. Whoa.